In this video, we'll apply the Henderson Hasselbalch equation to another buffer problem, and we'll see how we can use it to calculate the pH Likety split. So maybe we've got a buffer, and a buffer has to have a weak acid and its conjugate base, and perhaps our buffer has 0 0.050, so 50 millimolar of benzoic acid. So benzoic acid is a weak acid, and it has a Ka of 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5. So it's not terribly large. And to make a buffer, right, we have to have both components. We have to have both the weak acid and the conjugate base. So we're going to have 0 0.150 molar of the conjugate base, and that would be sodium benzoate. So if you're like, well, what's the sodium about? You can't just have the base, right? You have to have the counter ion as well. So you can't just have the anion, you have to have a cation. And sodium works really well because sodium is completely neutral. So how would we do this using Handelson Hasselbach? Well, one of the things we need is the pKa, and the pKa is the negative log of the Ka. And if we take the negative log of 6.5 times 10 to the minus 5, we get 4.19. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep a guard digit here. So I should only have two significant figures. Um, sorry, I only have two significant figures in my K, so I should only have two decimal places in my PKA. But I'm going to go ahead and keep that one as a guard digit because I'm a little bit worried about Randolph error if I don't. So let's write the Handelson Hasselbach equation now. So pH is PKA plus the log of the conjugate base to the conjugate acid concentration. Okay, these aren't any old acids and bases, these are only the conjugate acid and the conjugate bases. We've calculated the pKa, we've kept a guard digit, so 4.187 plus the log of the base over the acid, so the base was 0.15 molar, and the acid is 0.05 molar. I should write units, but they would cancel out. We can see that that ratio is 3, so the log of 3 is greater than 0, so it's going to raise the pH over the pKa, so it'll be 4.187 plus the log of 3, so that is plus 0.4. 7, 7. Again, this has two significant figures, so when I log it, I should only have two decimal places. And at the end of the problem, I can add them together and round. So when I round at the end of the problem to two decimal places, I get a pH of 4.66. And it's worth probably um, looking at this a little bit harder. So if this ratio was exactly equal to 1, if we had equal amounts of acid and base, the log of 1 is 0, so the pH would be equal to the pKa. Because we've increased our base concentration with respect to our acid, we've increased our pH. Remember, bases makes things have a higher pH, so we've kind of tweaked our pH a little bit higher than the perfect pH of the pKa.